In this video, I want to show you how to use the command line arguments. And I'm going to do that using GNU Linux. So the ID I'm going to use is Eclipse with the CDT package for C. So the first thing we need to do is, well, I'm going to do a, a new directory. I call it temp here. Maybe let me make that a bit bigger for you. Right. So if I go to temp, it's empty. So what I want is c make list dot txt. So I could just use. Uh, um, well, it's good practice to do that. And then, well, I'm just going to do a test. So I create test dot cxx. Open my favorite text editor. As I am at it, I'm going to create a bin directory. And this is where I'm going to compile. So where is the text editor? Here it is. So, well, good practice is to create a project. CMD command line arguments. There is only one executable, and I'm going to call it CMD line. And the source code is in test.cxx. I, I use two different names just to show you that it does not have to be the same. Okay. And here, well, we need a main. So that's just the simplest main we could have. If you want to use a command line argument, we need argc argv. So I tend to do that. I guess it's quicker to type. You see also this. It's basically the same. Both are like pointers on a pointer on a char. So it's an array of C strings. So that's what they mean. So, well, I want to be able to print in the terminal. So include IO stream. And here, well, well, we could see what if we output them using namespace std. Maybe if I make it bigger. Right. C out arg c. what we could do that just to highlight what these are and I'll do the same with argv just so we see what's going on so I'm ready to compile so cmake dot dot And now we can build and we can run command line. So you see there is one command line argument and its address is here in the RAM. So because this is an array of this string, we will need to retrieve well a value from this array. So let's say the first one. So what I tend to do when I Compile in Unix is like this. So clear to clear the screen, make to build. This is a boolean test. So if there is a compilation error, it won't launch the command. And if there is no error, it will launch the program. And you see, this is the name of the program. And what if I put another 
argument, this is R2. So if you want to pin all the command, so we could use a for loop. Well, actually, what I probably do is more a while loop here. I less than arc C. So arg v of i, and we make sure that i is going to vary in here, i. Make sure you increment i, and initialize i. So i initialize it to 1 to start with. So two arguments. The first one is that one. The second one is that one. And the first argument is always the name of the program. So if I do this, for example, so dot dot, that's a parent directory bin. Argv of zero will be this. See, it's always the case. Right, so now if I open the ID, so Eclipse, and uh, if I don't want to see all the error messages, what I do is this, dev null, so this character is to launch it in the background and you can see is process ID. If you run tap, you should find this somewhere. Uh, do we see Eclipse? Java. Well, this is a process ID, so it be that number. Where is Eclipse? Still launching, I guess. Right, I think we won't need that anymore, so I can shut it. Eclipse is still loading. Right, so here I already got a few programs like projects, so I'm going to close that one. I import a new one which is a C++ project from an existing CMake file. So where is it? It was in home, programming, programming, GitHub, that was in temp, bin. Okay, finish, or I mean you could give it a name, cmd line, and it is. And if you, you can run it from here, so you need to create a configuration as a C application. Where is it? Well, this is this program. You could apply and then debug. And by default, it compiled in release, so you won't be able to debug. We could change that, and you can see here the ID will use the full, like the absolute path of the program. If you want to add parameters, you go to arguments uh, and you put whatever you'd like. And what you see is that we don't add the name of the program as an argument, it is just to run here to debug. So I should do that really. And if you want to add more. Well, we could add more, whatever. But see, I did not pass uh, the name of the program as an argument because that's automatic. It's always a command line, uh, the program of the command line. So here you go for Eclipse, and I'll do the same for Windows. So using Visual Studio or Visual C++.